Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about my package that is available on the Unity Asset Store, which is called Screen Saver Maker, which allows you to easily use Unity 3D Game Engine to make a screen saver, and we'll, we'll show what uh, that looks like. So this is not always a, a super easy process, and it does involve a few things here. I do want to say that the package comes with an instructions file, which you can see right here, which clearly shows exactly step-by-step -step instructions as to what you need to do to make it happen, and along with my contact email address in case you need anything. And I'll uh, make this text available so you can know what you need to do. So what I have here is a simple screensaver. It has two things. It has a text file that just bounces the text up and down. And it has a, another scene that is used to set the preferences. So we can take the text and say, um, screensaver maker is magic. And then if we go back to our main scene, you can see it shows up here. Good. So we have our little simple screensaver. Now, of course, this doesn't work as a screensaver as it is, and Unity doesn't have a really easy way to do that. But what we can do is to use the screensaver maker uh, toolkit to add it. And it's really pretty easy. All we have to do is go into the package, take this prefab, drop it into our scene, and then we have some options that we can set. Uh, we can give it a settings. Unfortunately, I named my settings test scene. Not very good naming practice of me, but that's okay. You can set a screensaver scene, although this is much more complicated. I recommend that you have the starting screen be where your screensaver is generated if possible. But if not, there are instructions. Basically, you have to have two instances of the Screensaver Maker Manager, one in the main uh, scene and one in the scene that the Screensaver is because this is also the tool that is responsible for exiting. So, you know, we can hit play and nothing really is any different. The reason being is the way that Windows Screensaver operates, it's based off of command line options. And because the Unity editor doesn't play any command line options, it won't work. But this as it is right now should work uh, perfectly fine. You can use different things that will allow you to exit out of this because Unity will not end by default. And you have to actually interrupt to exit the program when you would need to. So I will show you what that looks like here in just a moment. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is just build and we'll just build it. So I'll go ahead and build that and then I will come back to you. One important thing that I forgot prior to building the build is we also need to change this display resolution dialog we need to have it be either disabled or hidden by default. That will make sure that when we go ahead and build this, that it will run without having the dialog pop up that shows you to choose the resolution. The screensaver, it's important to be completely automatic, and that's one very important step. So we'll go ahead and build this. Once you've built the application, then you have to take and change the extension to .scr for screensaver. It's still an executable, so don't worry about that. Then you copy these files and you paste them in either the system or the system32. Uh, I would suggest with the system folder because there's generally fewer things there. It seems to work a little bit better. It's possible the system32 will. I don't fully know what the thing is, but you can test it by double clicking on it and it should open up just like you're seeing here. Now this is not in screensaver mode so it won't be able to exit. So I'm going to close it manually. And then to test it you can hit install. 
put SM test. So this is going in the preview mode, which doesn't actually do anything. So it'll just exit as soon as it can. But then we hit the preview button. We have our little sample text, move the mouse and it exits. It's going back into the preview mode. That's what that is. We hit the settings button and we have our little test, some sample test. I forgot to put an exit button there, but that's okay. So if we hit the preview button again, then we should see this is some sample text. There we go. It looks like it's working great. And that is how you can make a screensaver. Let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned.